Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of Preparation Parlay. Let's get to the questions. The questions were shared with you earlier in the day. The first question was, is it wise to quit job and prepare for CAT? In what extreme scenario should we should one quit? Also, please provide sessions on how working people can make the most out of the limited time available to them. Uh, this is not a very direct question to answer. This is fairly nuanced and depends on every case. So there are two kinds of situations. One, wherein you're not doing your cat prep and you're using your job as a crutch or an excuse for not putting in your 100% in order to do your best for your cat. And the other one is your job is genuinely toxic and uh, the sort of environment that you have, the kind of hours that you have to put in, they do genuinely take away from your cat prep possibilities. Okay, so of course, if we break it down into these two possible cases, we can definitely say yes, in the first case, you should not quit your job. In the second case, you should quit your job. But then there are finer degrees involved here because at the extreme level, you need to have a fair assessment of what your job demands. And in order to do that, there is a mechanism that I recommend my students and I would recommend to you folk as well. One thing that you would have to do is look at all the time, look at all the time that the job doesn't take up. Let's say a weekend, let's say when you return from your office at 9.30 in the night, worst case scenario, you return from office at 9.30 in the night. So after that, are you putting in everything that you have in your power to make sure that you're studying for two hours, three hours daily? Is it a matter of habit or do you forego that study and then instead spend time on watching Netflix TV shows or some Amazon Prime shows or some hot star shows? If that is the case, then quitting your job will not help because it is not a problem with the job. It is a problem with our consistency in putting in effort. So in case you want to quit your job, in case you want to quit your job, subject yourself to the following test. All the time that you have for the next month, all the time that you have dedicated to cat study. If you are able to dedicate it to cat study all the time that you have and not waste time here and there, then maybe quitting your job can be logical, can be admissible, can be possible. But in case you're still being very, very lax with your cat prep, don't quit your job. Doesn't make sense. The other end of the spectrum is a lot of people have this grouse. The kind of work that I'm doing is not teaching me anything. And I'm not learning anything significant in my time at my office. Uh, to those people, and a lot of people have this grouse. Those of us who don't, wonderful. Your job is great. Good for you. But for most of us, we are Indian graduates who are available in hoods as a graduate or Bharat ke under graduate vyakti ko achhi naukari milna is a blue moon event. It is not something that a lot of people get very good jobs at. Also, the kind of job you get is a culmination of all the effort you have put in all throughout your life so far. So let's say some people with not very decent academic scores but with good communication skills end up with good jobs. It is on account of the fact that they have worked on their communication skills. Some people with very good academic scores, very good research capabilities, very good analytics bent of mind, they get a good job. Wonderful. So look deep within you and analyze, do I have any uh, unique skill, any USP that I have that will end, help me get a good job? If not, then the only way for you to become better is by appearing for CAT, going for an MBA and then enhancing your career. So delaying it will cause you to be in this hell for even longer. The other thing, uh, a lot of freshers are always wondering, should I devote all my time and energy to CAT right now? Or should I take up a job just to be on the safe side? Again, what sort of job is it? Uh, and uh, how long are you planning to continue in that job? Because in a lot of interviews, in a lot of interviews, 
the fact that you worked for barely three, four months also comes up as a negative. So you joined a company with the knowledge that you don't plan on staying there for a long period of time. So you basically enacted a fraud on the company telling them I'll stay. And yet you are leaving after a very short duration. So there are lots of factors. Ideally, this question should be answered by somebody who knows you individually, knows what sort of job roles, what sort of job role are you engaged in? And the major reason for you quitting your job should be based on the inability of having time to study instead of unwillingness of having time to study. Don't think once I quit my job, I will have the entire day and then I will be able to take out six hours to study. So if you can take out six hours to study, then you should be able to take out two hours to study right now. If you're unable to take out two hours to study right now, it is an attitudinal problem, not a problem of the job. And then in such a case, it is not advisable. Now, those who will continue with their job and are looking for avenues to improve, see, but love, uh, which may not necessarily resonate with you. As Indians, we have been taught to please. We have been taught to curry favor with those in authority. Let's say, if we have to say that 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 we have to say we have to say that we Given that you realize the job that you're currently doing is a short term venture. You're not planning to stay in this job for a long period of time. Taking on more and more responsibilities is untenable, is not advisable. Additionally, manager and happily manager moves on. Have the courage to say no to people just because you're in an office. You don't have to get people to like you. You have to do your job to the best of your ability. Chalega. You might iska fallout hai hai. Log bolte, isse mere bonus pe ya year end increment pe fark padega. Agar tum bonus or year end increment ko priority de rahe, to phir anyway samajh jao, cat to tumhara is saal target hai nahi. Agar cat nikal gaya, to anyway year end bonus or uh, increment wagera to hawa mein jana hi hai. So if cat focus, hai, say no to projects or direct no, nahi bol sakte, then do this. Usually what happens is people get a project in the morning or sida bol dete ye karna. Or vyakti us time, they realize that there is a lot of time, lega, bahut mehnat lega, nahi ho mere se. but they keep quiet at that time. Nahi, usi time ja ke bolo, either give me a resource or give me a more extended timeline. Learn how to value your own time. If your office timings are eight to let's say morning nine to evening six, do not be the fool who stays till night so that he becomes the office favorite and people start appreciating him because he's putting in so much time and so much effort. It is an absolutely useless uh, trait to have. If you are doing work, extra time lagana lagao because whatever benefits will be reaped will accrue to you. But if you're working for a company or you have to spend your time in Bharat, ke andar ye hi toxic culture bana hua hai. the new hires, especially the new young, fresh graduates who join a company, they don't know why this is a kid, that we will do more work on our own, because the company is my country, the country is my family. The company will not think twice if you screw up to kick you out of the door. Matlab, basically, the parallel I'm drawing is with football teams have you seen if if you know the world football fifa and everything players want to stay with teams and if players demand no i want to leave i want to go away even basketball has the same trouble if players say i want to move then they are termed disloyal they are termed unprofessional they are termed uh, as cancer on the team why if a team says is player Remember, players are not just playing on the ground. They have their family settled, their children are going to schools. So if they're traded from one team to another, they have to move cities, they have to reorient their life altogether. And when a team sends a player away, it is termed as good business, which is extremely, extremely unfair. So in this power equation where you are at a disadvantage, the way you can recover some modicum of 
influences by saying no or at least by showing your objection right at the top indian context mein ek dusra pyara idea batate hain if you say no enough number of times if you say enough number of times the manager will get wary of assigning you high value high priority projects and then pehle do teen char bar kuch hoga aapka conflict uske baad manager khud hi tumhe project zyada heavy dega nahi aur agar dega bhi to phir tum halla karte hi rahoge anyway bach jayega companies are not going to kick you out for saying that the project takes a lot more time than the timeline given to you if the if acha ek yahan pe acha pyar response ye bhi rehta hai managers ka agar tum tumse kaise nahi ho raha wo to kar leta hai itni der mein ekdam happily admit sara mutne efficient nahi hai i can't do it in that amount of time acha here be a little reasonable ye kaam mat karna ki jo bhi project hai seedha hi mana kar dena nahi humse nahi hoga hum nahi kaam karenge i i won't be able to provide any help on this or i don't have the bandwidth to help with this ye natak mat kar dena kyunki sirf kaam ke prati nishtha rakho but nishtha should not extend into other parts of your life you have a life outside of office as well you have aspirations for long term career growth as well if you keep on doing the excel and ppt and whatever else you are doing in office because my office had these things isliye mere dimag mein if you keep on doing the things based in office over and over again sirf wahi pe dhyan de rahe ho to bhai outer zindagi mein kuch sikhenge nahi which is not ideal so don't extend it to a level ki jahan pe maar peet ho jaye apne manager ke sath but also डोंट बी डोरमैट की कोई भी आके कुचल के चला जाए और तुम्हें काम पकड़ाता जाए और चलता रहे कहानी ओके दैट्स अ वेरी फन क्वेश्चन एंड ऑल्सो समथिंग दैट रिक्वायर्स अ लॉट ऑफ इंडिविजुअल डिस्कशन ये क्या पता है जनरल में बात करना बहुत डिफिकल्ट है क्योंकि आई हैव लॉट्स मेनी मोर थॉट्स इट्स जस्ट दैट दस मिनट के ऊपर डिस्कशन चल गया इसके ऊपर सो आई वॉन्ट टू मूवर सेकेंड क्वेश्चन Right now, I'm focusing on DILR for CAT. When should I start covering practicing OMET's reasoning questions? Okay, uh, two ideas here. One, it is never bad to start practicing any reasoning-based questions. Second, when you say DILR for CAT, you are pigeonholing DILR for CAT. For the longest period of time, people said coding decoding was something that was exclusive to OMET's and not present in DILR for CAT. बट डी आई एल आर कैट में अब कोडिंग टू कोडिंग भी आ चुका है नेशनल बर्ड ऑफ इंडिया स्पीकॉक वाला कोई क्वेश्चन आया था कैट टू थाउजेंड एटीन में आई थिंक एंड देन ब्लड रिलेशन एंड सीरीज एंड सीक्वेंसेज एंड ब्ला एंड ब्ला ओमेट्स रीजनिंग बेस्ड क्वेश्चन यू शुड हैव अ फंडामेंटल ग्राउंडिंग इन दम एंड यू शुड डू दैट प्रायर टू कैट नॉट वेट की ओमेट्स आएंगे तब हम करेंगे ऐसा नहीं था ना कि डी आई एल आर ऑफ कैट के हम वेट कर रहे थे कि एक महीना रहेगा कैट का तब हम डी आई एल आर पढ़ना चालू करेंगे गिवेन दीज आर स्किल्स गिवेन दीज आर स्किल्स अभी कर डालो मेक श्योर यू गॉन थ्रू द बेसिक्स ऑफ देम द हैवी प्रैक्टिस फॉर ओमेट्स रीजनिंग वेन दी एग्जाम इज क्लोजर मेक सेंस बट राइट नाउ नॉट कवरिंग दम एट ऑल इज डेफिनेटली नॉट एडवाइजल एक बार बेसिक तो कर ही डालो दिस इज ऑल्सो ब्लीडिंग इन टू वेंग एनमेट एनमेट एग्जाम का नोटिफिकेशन आने वाला है जल्दी तो एनमेट वेन शुड वी टेक इट एंड कब करना चाहिए माई पर्सनल फेवरेट रीजन इज अपियर फॉर इट एज अर्ली एज पॉसिबल अपियर फॉर इट एज क्विकली एज पॉसिबल बिकॉज देखो ऐसा नहीं है कि एनमेट का अगर हम दो महीने बाद का स्लॉट ले रहे होंगे अगर अभी तक मेरी तैयारी नहीं हो रखी है तो दो महीने बाद मेरी तैयारी इतनी शानदार हो जाएगी कि हम दुनिया फोड़ देंगे नन ऑफ दैट है अगर नहीं पढ़ा है अभी तक तो तब तक भी नहीं पढ़ेंगे तो एक बार एग्जाम अगर आ रहा है दो ना की करो गेट दैट हेड एक आउट ऑफ योर हेड एंड मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर डू नॉट कीप पोस्टपोनिंग अटेम्प्ट्स बिकॉज देन व्हाट वुड हैपन इज कैट देंगे हम उसके थोड़े दिनों बाद हम आई देंगे उसके थोड़े दिनों बाद हम एन देंगे उसके थोड़े दिनों बाद हम स्नैप देंगे यू वुडेंट हैव इनफ गैप्स अवेलेबल यू वुडेंट हैव इनफ गैप्स अवेलेबल for you to focus on that exam the skills remain exactly the same the kind of questions the timing you know, making sure that you are moving between sections all of that har exam ka apna kuch unique feature hai uski practice karne ke liye fundamental basic building block should be ready by the end of august latest and then the testing and the solving and the अकलमंदी वाले काम और टेस्ट टेकिंग वाले काम कैन हैपन टू वर्ड्स दी लेटर पार्ट सो व्हेन शुड यू स्टार्ट कवरिंग प्रैक्टिसिंग ओमेट्स रीजनिंग क्वेश्चंस राइट नाउ एज क्विकली एज पॉसिबल ओके नेक्स्ट 
how to revise already done quant topics i was not able to solve a medium type of question in a mock okay uh, the first part of the question i like how to revise already done quant topics and to the best of my memory i've already talked of this in one of the earlier parlay videos so best way to revise a quant already done quant topic is go through your notes assuming you made notes at the time of attending the initial classes which is critical and non negotiable notes banane hai go through your notes collect uh, and the while you were solving the sheet or whatever questions that you were solving you would have come up with insights oh aisa bhi hota hai oh waisa bhi hota hai as long as you are taking care of that stuff like bahut chhotu sa i think i had talked of this earlier uh rhombuses ke andar rhombi ke andar there is just one special rhombus which is two equilateral triangles stuck together so uh i think it was in one of the mocks this year itself wherein it was told in a rhombus where one of the diagonals is equal to one fourth the perimeter of the rhombus which means the side of the rhombus and the diagonal are of equal length this these were two equilateral triangles joined together Be being able to come up with such insights is what helps us solve questions quicker so go through your notes go through your list of insights and then start random testing what i mean by random testing is koi bhi ek topic ka uthao kaam karo teen char test teen char test as in what i mean by that is say, 60 80 questions 60 to 80 questions i am thinking in terms of the course that i have practice course ke andar 20 20 question kya na pick up practice course ke andar 20 20 question wala koi test and then within those 20 20 questions within those 20 questions ka test if you are able to let's say get more than 60 to 70% if you are able to get more than 60 to 70% of the questions right within that limited time frame then wonderful theek hai badhiya aata hai apne ko topic badh jao if you are unable to get 60 to 70% then maybe you need to go back and watch the video and make the notes again the bigger challenge right now is abhi se hi duniya jahan mein baatein chalu ho gayi hai aap pnc chhod sakte hai kya catch ke liye number system chhod sakte hai kya catch ke liye dekho agar tum 80 85% hai target kar rahe ho to bilkul chhod sakte ho मस्त छोड़ सकते हो कोई दिक्कत नहीं है लेकिन अगर तुम 99 टारगेट कर रहे हो तो तुम नहीं छोड़ सकते हो क्योंकि ध्यान रखना द एट द एक्सट्रीम एंड्स ऑफ द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इवन स्मॉल मिनिस्क्यूल चेंजेस इन स्कोर्स वुड लीड टू ड्रास्टिक चेंजेस इन परसेंटाइज से फॉर इंस्टेंस फॉर अ जनरल इंजीनियर मेल और फॉर एनीवन हु इज टारगेटिंग एन एक्सट्रीमली हाई परसेंटाइज एट 100 यू वुड हैव गॉटन 99. 99.12 टाइप का कुछ आया होता पिछले साल but the three questions of pnc if you had done it and aati bhi simple hai pnc aati extremely simple hai cat ke andar so if you had done those three questions and you ended up at 110 112 you would have reached 99.6ish type of percentile jahan pe jaane ke baad a lot of more doors would open for you 99 se 99.6 ke liye aisa lag raha hai usi mein piche jao let's say you are at uh, 95ish percentile at 86 95ish percentile no not 86 at uh, 70ish pe, 70 72 pe tha pichle baar 95 percentile i am not very certain of the numbers but wahi pe if you had managed to solve three pnc ke extra questions oh duniya palat gayi now when you are at uh, when you are at is that say 80 percentile ka score Even if you do those three PNC questions, ऐसा नहीं है कि तुम्हारी percentile drastically बढ़ जाएगी. तो within that range, towards the center, it is much more closer together. Towards the extremes, high high ranges, तो percentile changes drastically with every additional question. Also, given that PNC happens to be something that people dislike a lot, मतलब आधी ज़्यादा दुनिया PNC का topic पसंद नहीं करती है. That is the question zone where you create a lead over them. यहाँ पे अगर पीएनसी अगर कंफर्टेबल आ गया और पीएनसी डिफिकल्ट नहीं आई कैन नॉट स्ट्रेस दिस इनफ पीएनसी इज वन ऑफ द इजीएस्ट टॉपिक्स टू स्टडी इफ स्टडीड अप्रोप्रिएटली अगर पीएनसी के अंदर हमने थोड़ा सा भी टाइम लगा दिया टाइम एंड एफर्ट दैट यू इन्वेस्टेड इनटू लेट्स से अरिथमेटिक इफ यू इन्वेस्टेड इवन ट्वेंटी ऑफ दैट इन टू पी कैट का निकल जाएगा क्योंकि अरिथमेटिक के अंदर देर आर फार मोर कॉन्वोल्यूटेड सेटअप देन यू हैव इन पी अच्छा सो हाउ टू रिवाइज वॉच द अपना जो भी वीडियो था उसके नोट्स बनाए होंगे आफ्टर यू गॉन थ्रू द नोट्स गॉन थ्रू योर इन साइट देन डू सब रैंडम टेस्टिंग इफ यू आर गेटिंग अ गुड स्कोर ग्रेट इफ यू आर नॉट गेटिंग अ गुड स्कोर गो वॉच द वीडियोज ऑल ओवर अगेन 
आफ्टर यू डन दैट गो बैक इट इज अनफाइनाइट लुक वापस से जाके सवाल वगैरह सॉल्व करो टॉपिक के एंड दैट इज हाउ यू डू रिविजन दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ इट द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ इट आई वाज नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व अ मीडियम टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन अ मॉक यार देखो ये बहुत ज्यादा एक्सट्रीम स्टेटमेंट हो गया एक क्वेश्चन सॉल्व नहीं हुआ इसीलिए मेरे दिमाग में आया कि रिवीजन कैसे करना है कौन टॉपिक्स का विच शुड मीन रिवीजन वाज एनीवे नॉट ऑन द टॉप ऑफ योर माइंड अगर अगर वो सवाल सही हो जाता तो ये सवाल देन योर क्वेश्चन ऑफ हाउ शुड रिवीजन बी डन वुड इट नॉट मैटर ऑफ कोर्स इट वुड स्टिल मैटर सो यू नॉट बींग एबल टू सॉल्व एन इंडिविजुअल क्वेश्चन इन सब रैंडम टेस्ट समवेयर फॉर गिवेबल दैट शुड नॉट स्ट्रेस यू आउट but then learning from that or seeing what the trigger was there or what the first step should have been where how the processing should have been done once you've learned all that move on mocks ke score se zyada tension mat lena sab badhiya hai last cheez abhi cat ka notification ka bhayankar post post aane lag gaya hai abhi log youtube video bhi banane lag jayenge abhi log khatarnak articles bhi lagne lag jayenge what it means for you three slots 120 minutes hamare channel ne sabse pehle bola tha ki aisa hoga waisa hoga dhyan rakhna abhi tak official notification aaya nahi hai as and when the official notification comes out at least uh, right now when i'm making the video official notification aaya nahi hai pata nahi aaj ke din hi aa gaya to dikkat rahegi but as and when the official notification comes out in real terms nothing in your life changes cat jab hona hai tabhi hoke rahega your focus or the uh, sphere that you have influence over is your own preparation cat kaun se din hai aur 120 minute ka hai ki 40 minute ka hai skills ko inse fark nahi padta agar aisa hua ki bhai cat 3 ghante ka ho gaya let's say in a weird world 3 ghante ka cat ho gaya wapas se is saal to aise kya arithmetic ke sawal karne lag jayenge hum <laughs> ya phir agar cat 1 ghante ka ho gaya is saal snap jaisa ban gaya to kya arithmetic ke sawal karne lag jayenge hum हमारा हमारा लिमिट और हमारा स्पीयर ऑफ इन्फ्लुएंस ओनली एक्सटेंड्स टू वेदर आई बी एबल टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस सो प्लीज कीप फोकसिंग ऑन दैट डोंट वेस्ट टाइम ऑन रैंडम यूट्यूब वीडियोस डोंट वेस्ट टाइम ऑन डूइंग थिंग्स दैट अ लॉट ऑफ अदर पीपल विल डू सिर्फ कैट का एग्जाम सिंपल है और द वेरी फाइन लिटिल माइन्यूट स्मॉल थिंग्स दैट यू हैव टू डू द प्रॉब्लम इज इंस्टेड ऑफ डूइंग दोज फाइन लिटिल माइन्यूट थिंग्स अपने ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ थिंग्स करते हैं थिंग्स लाइक स्ट्रैटेजी क्या होनी चाहिए और ये क्या होना चाहिए और वो क्या होना चाहिए अलग ही दुनिया बना रखी है लोगों ने स्ट्रैटेजी के नाम पे प्लीज सेव योर सेल्फ फ्रॉम दैट नॉन सेंस दैट विल बी ऑल फॉर दिस एपिसोड द लिंक टू सेंड मोर क्वेश्चन डिस्क्रिप्शन ओके बाय